Greetings, and it's such a joy to be able to come to you today to take a few moments just meditating in God's Word and in prayer. Let me trust that each and every day you're continuing to grow strong in the Lord and being empowered in Him. And may this day be a blessed day in your life. This week we are reflecting on the wine, the wine dresser, and the branches. In John chapter 15 and verse 2, the Lord Jesus said, Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruits. As we reflect on the illustration that the Lord Jesus used about the wine, the branches and the wine dresser, in verse 2, the Lord Jesus reveals to us what the wine dresser does. So the wine dresser is a keeper of the farm, of, uh, of this entire area, and he is watching over the wine and the branches. His desire is to make every branch very fruitful, to bear much fruit. That's, that's what he's working towards. And in the process, as he works upon the vine and the branches that are connected to the vine, the Lord Jesus reveals to us that anything that is unproductive, he cuts off. He takes, takes it away. There's no need for that to uh, remain attached to the vine. But to everything that does bear fruit, what does the wine dresser do? Jesus said, he prunes it so that it could bear more fruits. So imagine you and I, as we will see in the coming verses, we are the branches, we are, the, we are connected to the wine, and what the wine dresser is doing to us is, he's working in our lives to call, causing us to be fruitful and to be ever increasingly fruitful. That means to become more and more fruitful in our lives. And part of that process of making us more and more fruitful is pruning. Now, pruning can mean two things. One, it can mean that he intentionally trims us so that it spurs growth. Pruning also could involve cutting off unnecessary parts, the dead parts. Parts that tend to grow and dry up, he takes that off. So there is the intentional push for growth as he trims us. And there is the removing of things that, would, that are unnecessary, that would hinder growth. Both are being done in us so that we could be fruitful. And as we are fruitful, he continues working in us this way. He continues pruning us so that we can become, we can become more and more fruitful. So what is the father, the wine dresser, doing in your life? Well, in your life and mine, he's pruning us. He is spurring us for growth. He can do this by setting us up in situations and in, in places and around people who will stretch us, so to speak, who will push us into areas where we probably never thought we could get into and and then we are pulled, we are stretched so that we could grow and we can bear more fruit. Or there are times when he says, you know, these are things that are not needed in your life. Let's get rid of it so that we, you can be more fruitful. What is the Lord doing in your life today? Look at it as his working in you to make you more fruitful for his kingdom, to be more productive, to be more effective, to be more impactful in your life. Father is working in different ways to make you more fruitful. Be aware of his working and yield to it. Father, we thank you that you are working in us in different ways, causing us to be more fruitful. Open our eyes uh, to recognize when you are working in this manner and help us to yield to it so that we could be more effective and fruitful for your kingdom, in Jesus' name.
Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.